started my hunt um, here with my buddy. Can't, can't, see me, can't, can't see him. He's in there somewhere. But we're on our way to look at this Titanic. Isn't that cool? We're on our way to London to hunt with Chicago Ron. So uh, we're excited. Hope to find something really great. And I will keep you updated. Well, we folks, we finally made it out to the fields on a, a cool, rainy day. Yeah. Lots of fields to hunt. It is super muddy. Take a look at that. The mud sticks to your shoes and probably weighs 20 pounds. Uh, my MXT got a little haywire because of the rain. I don't want to risk, I mean my E-Track, so I didn't want to risk uh, it breaking. But I have had, you know, three hours. I got what I think is a cartwheel. Coin. Chronal type fell in the 1600s. And another half penny, maybe, smooth. Uh, well, let's see. I think I might need to head that way. Beautiful full rainbow. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I see something that looks good. Right on the surface. Can't make out what that is. I can't see with these glasses on. It's a coin for sure. I'm not sure what it is. Does that say? Token, I think. Zuda well? Said well? Okay, cool. I love it. Okay, people. God, please let this be gold. I, I don't think it is. See the gold? Is that a button? Oh my god. Oh my god. It is. I don't know what it is. I think it's gold plate or whatever it is. I think it's a butt, button. Tell you what, let me clean it up and I'll show you. Yep, uh, day one, full day. Uh, we're out here. Sorry. We're out here, and I uh, just got I've got three greenies today, 1700 coins, copper. Um, but I think think I got my first piece of silver. I believe that is a silver buckle. Awesome. Okay, folks, now here in this big old field. And I just dug two coins. I got a flatty, and now I got a uh, yep. hammered baby. First hammered of the trip, and first hammered in the uh, Ron's uh, pool. Hey, you're rubbing my coin, man. Yes, I am. I'm trying to see the, see the design. Yeah. That's a tiny one. Yeah, it's tiny. What did it come up at? Yeah. Nice. Right, I'm keep going digging, my big yeah, I'll be right over. I want to see that. So I just got a um, uh, a button.
anyway, it's got script language in it. So it's 18 LD. So I don't know if it's military or not. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Oh, these guys are gonna die! I'm in the lead. This is number two. Awesome! Oh. Ground floor of the building uh, had open sides and was used for wool trading. Upper floors were for storage and uh, dying vets in the cellar. After 1660, when the cloth trade was in decline, it became an inn. By 1704, it had become the Marlboro Head. So it's six, since 1660, 1660, it's been an inn. Oh, these guys are going to hate me. They're going to hate, hate, hate me. Look at this, baby. Another hammer. Chicago Ron, you are the bomb. Awesome, look at that beauty. Oh, yes. But I just want to let you know, if you ever do this, oh my god, look at my shoes. They probably weigh 40 pounds each. This clay is just impossible. Man, it's the hardest hunting I've ever done. I am beat, trust me. Okay, it's really windy, so I'm sorry, but it looks like I got silver in the hole. Silver in the hole. for sure. Oh, yeah. It's gonna take a minute. Let me clean it up, see what I have. Oh, there we go. I see 1885 three pence. Awesome! First mill silver of the trip. I'm going to have to tell everybody that one. Hey, this is Hardy. Jim already got 1816 silver. That looks like a three pence, maybe. Nice. Keep them coming. You probably can't hear me, but there's a lot of land over here in the UK to cover. Needle in the haystack. Probably about a half an ounce of ancient gold. 22, 22 carat. That is a, on there. astounding find. Amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay, here's some of the finds from the last two days. Um, you can see lots of greeny coppers from 18, 1700s, 1600s. Just some of them hard to make out. Did get two 18 bull, I mean, uh, an 1816 and 1819. Got another hammer you saw, and the uh, 53 pence. Uh, pile of buttons, bunch of musket balls, and uh, possible Roman items here. So I'm going to have those checked. And various buttons and stuff. It's seals, lead seals, relics, and stuff. Good hunt. Okay, it's the last day of the hunt. Got another field here. And uh, 
I just I forgot to video, but I just got my fourth cut, uh, my fourth hammered. Look at that baby. Awesome. And I just dug another milled silver. An 1819. Another one of these uh, bull nose sixpence. Awesome. This is going to be a great day. Well, the sun came out, and we finished the hunt. Last day, last hour, last minute. We're in the van, getting ready to head back. I'll give you a recap later. But what a trip! Hey, Jim. <laughs> Here. I am beat. Yeah. This is the hardest I've ever had to. It's walk. a tough hunt, isn't it? It sure is. All right. Thanks. Okay, we finished the hunt. Sorry about all the noise. We're packing up. But here's some better finds. Here's a stone button. A 15th century Tudor button. A uh, lead coin weight. A lead seal. This is a very rare Colchester Volunteer Army pin. And this is a Light Dragoon, 13th Light Dragoon button. Also very rare, only found in Colchester. Here's my three hammer that I found. And uh, here are the milled coins I found. Oh, I forgot the fourth hammer. So I got a total of four hammer. That one's going to be cleaned. Got some type of token here. Not sure what it is. I'll have that being value evaluated. Imperial Service. Badge, uh, unknown badge, uh, button, general service button, another general service button, and uh, this toy soldier, which had me thinking it could be a Saxon gold statue like they found here. Anyways, and overall, and just so you know, here is all the other stuff. A lot of buttons, a lot of brass, musket balls. And there's Ron, happy to finish up the trip. Oh, I'm done, finally. Yay! 21 days. It's and tough. He, and he had to split. Uh, oh, he took I it to down. I have it here. You want to look at the... Yep. the, the thing. Wait, hand hand me count. Week three, hand me count. Ron, four. Jim, four. Yep. Yay, me! <laughs> Nice, good week, good week, Jim. It was great. Thank you so much. You got some, you got some great hands. I almost forgot. Here are all, all my coins. Haven't counted them. All from the 1600s, 1700s, 1800s. I think the newest one was 1900s, 1964. Hammy King. <laughs>